what it do e world crisscrossing wires and uh just going to show you a few things if you ever uh attempt to uh swap out one of these axles just so you know what's involved uh obviously you have to remove the dust covers uh first of all and then there's one of these little uh rings that locks the axle into the hub and uh, you're going to need one of these little tools uh, like this with the different ends to uh, get this ring off. But uh, once you get that ring off, then you're good to go. Uh, we're going to use a hydraulic press to press this out. Uh, can it be banged out? Possibly, but I'm not going to sit out here and try to whack on that. No way, Jose. Uh, it's very tightly pressed in there. So yes, a hydraulic press is what you want. Also, I'm going to show you uh, hall sensors. Uh, these are the hall sensors, all right? If you ever get a hall sensor error and uh, you need to replace the hall sensors, some motors have a reserve set. So there's two sets of these. Uh, there'll be one on this side and then there'll, there'll be another one on the other side, another set on the other side. Uh, these hall sensors are actually in this little circuit board here. Sometimes there will be no board and it will just be the wires uh, connecting directly to the hall sensor legs. Uh, you know, you, you can see, um, actually you can see uh, the damaged hall sensor on this bike, on this motor. It's actually, uh, it's actually broken. That one right there, uh, when the transistor burned up, uh, it cracked the little casing. There's a little uh, silicon casing around these transistors, and when they burn up, uh, that will, you know, rupture. But, uh, yeah, so when you're replacing these hall sensors, it's, it's as easy as that. If you know the correct hall sensors to use, uh, I'll post the link to these uh, hall sensors in the description uh, these can be used in just about any motor uh, I use them in all of them and uh, they work great uh, these were recommended by Grin Technologies and uh, I've been using these ever since um, but it's just as simple as uh, removing the uh, hall sensors from the circuit board you'll have to solder them in obviously uh, and sometimes when they don't have that little board, uh, the wires just go directly to those legs. You see how small they are. So uh, you have to isolate those with some heat shrink wrap. Uh, it's a tedious job, but it can be done. So yes, that is how you uh, access the hall sensors. That is what hall sensors are. If you've never seen them, that's what they look like. Uh, little... Uh, magnetic field effect transistors uh so you know they basically just tell the uh controller what position the motor is in okay if you have bad hall sensors uh depending on what type of controller you have your bike won't move sometimes it will move but it will be jittery you know shaking when you take off uh most likely that's a hall sensor all right all right, y'all, just wanted to give y'all a little inside look at uh, these hub motors and, uh, you know, show you just how easily you can repair your own motor and uh, replace hall sensors. And if you got a damaged uh, axle, you can replace that too. All right, y'all, take it easy. Take care. Crisscrossing wires, we out. Peace.